money is a reward for value, right? Once you have something valuable on the table, then people are willing to give you money in exchange for it. And the reason why our society is getting corrupted is because that's not the rule in Nigeria, right? How you can, uh, how do I put it now? If you just know how to hang around the corridor of power and hail politicians when they are coming, you have a chance of them being put in a position and then you are commanding billions, right? If you uh, just have an uncle that is rich and you know how to blackmail him and say, you know, yeah, people are telling me already that you are a rich uncle. If you don't send me money, I will struggle. Once we continue this culture where people can get something for nothing, and we continue to, and the politician comes and then is praying money, right? What is that? The, let's even forget where he got the money. But why are those people getting the money, getting the money? What value has exchanged? So what is going on in Nigeria is that the older ones are not uh, teaching the younger ones, even the ones who are made it legitimately. And I, I have argued that why don't we have a book by Tony Lumelu on how he made it. Why don't we have a book by Dangote on how? And I'm willing, right, if they watch your show, to work with them. I will interview them and work on these books because the youth needs it, right? Sometimes people ask me, why have you authored so many books? And most of my books we transcribe. Just so that's a model I'm willing. But people need, to, the young people need to know that I, as Dangote, I was like you some time ago. I struggle as well. I was looking for capital at some point. They need to hear that from Tony. That at some point in this country, you know, I, I literally was at the level you are. But because they don't communicate. So most young people are seeing all these older guys at the peak of where they are. There is no data showing where they started. So each time you now come out publicly and say, young people should be patient. They should, but where is the data? of how you started in a very humble way. And remember, technology is also disrupting a lot of these things. So first thing is value in exchange for cash. That must be the basis for making money. Number two is that there are two major ways you can make money, active income and passive income. So as you are a presenter, as I'm a coach, that is a source of active income. In other words, if I'm invited to, to speak in a place or I coach somebody, they pay me for it. Active income. But guess what? The rules show that nobody has eventually become financially free. Not that they didn't make money, but at the level where you have more than enough to even give, nobody has ever, and consistently so, through active income. People ultimately become financially free through another channel called passive income. Now, what is passive income? Passive income simply means I take my money, I go give it to somebody else who own a company, right? Through buying shares, through bonds, through other means. And then he continues to work for me. That way money is working for me. I only will drop that money once. And then almost for the rest of my life, I'm getting dividends, I'm getting shares. Of course, there are one occasionally where there are challenges that's where coaching comes in training comes in you know when to exit when to get out and all of those things so people that again is a knowledge that is not yet you know uh, uh how do i put it now it's not yet available or uh, right no no it's not yet available in a uh there's a word around it general it's not a general knowledge yeah it's not right? place. it's not a commonplace knowledge about passive income and building wealth. So an average conversation, even in Nigeria, is go get masters, go get PhD. And many parents don't even know that that era is gone. Right? That era is gone. Facebook no longer needs your degree to even give you a job. Google no longer needs your degree. Elon Musk was still sharing recently. He said, I don't need people to have a degree. I need them to be exceptional. But I don't need their university degree to give them a job. That's why most of us dropped out. So parents are not even getting it. That the world is totally being disrupted. Education is being disrupted, right? And the kind of skills people need in tomorrow's future are skills that AI cannot do, cannot do, things that robots cannot do. And some of them are soft skills 
that we need to really prioritize even now emotional intelligence leadership courage right to take on on popular positions like the one i took right <laughs> right so these are things we need to begin to uh push out there um but again you want to be rich focus more let your active income money be your source or your capital for a passive income and once you have enough passive income you are ready to build wealth mm. what would you tell the, the, the nigerian because this podcast is uh, is more or less crafted yeah. and the, for the for the path of a young person in nigeria mm. and a, a young person is actually a dynamic world for uh for age and uh, age and uh, uh, formation of people but so what would you say to those who are looking and say, oh, I'd like to become a, a Stephen Akitaya, for example. Mm -hmm. i like to make it in life. I want to be rich and I want to not only be rich, to make impact. Mm -hmm. Where do you, where, do, where, where, where can they start? I think they should start from um, volunteering. Um, when I finished, about, a lot of people don't know my story. When I finished from, I went to Osu and I did eight years instead of five years, right? And I remember, by the time I was coming, I knew there was no job. So I remember printing 100 CVs. And I had a cover letter. I said, do not pay me for six months until I prove myself. Well, the first place, they said there's no table and chair. The third place, the person collected my CV and walked away. <laughs> the third place, the man looked at me and said, there's no job in Nigeria. I can see from your CV, you've started business on campus. And I actually started business on when I was in university. He said, why not continue? And that was the last place I dropped my CV. But today, that principle st is still valid. Some people will not take you, but some people will take you. You need to know that what they taught you in university is no longer valid today. Even in our organization, for an average person to really become productive in our company, they, they, they need to put in six months before they really can start adding value to us. And it's not fair for you to expect a company to train you and pay you at the same time. Now, it's not their fault that the educational system mm -hmm. is not up to date so that you have skills that are rev relevant immediately in the workplace. It's also not your fault that the educational system is that way. But that is what it is. So for me, I would say go volunteer. Now, for those who want to become entrepreneurs, they don't even want to go career path. The same thing. Go look for an entrepreneur who is already in the industry you want to start a business. And either go serve them for free or pay them to become your coach. It's one of those two. If you really want a mentor in this world, you either pay or you serve. Even for me till today, a lot of my business mentors, whether in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, is either I'm serving them, okay, or I'm having to pay for the time that they're giving you. It's not fair to go and sit down Okay, with a Cosmos Maduka or with a Dangote or with a Tony Elimili or whatever, and then you're asking questions about your business for two hours. The man, that two hours you put into his business and generate more money. So let it be that it's win win. And I talked about it in my book, The Billionaire Habit. Create a win win situation with anybody you need something for. Nigeria is already a mess because we have built this system based on get something for nothing. And we've seen that over time, those people giving us something for nothing have hidden agenda. Ultimately, right? They are just giving you what they will still take times 1,000 when they enter office. So why not start on the core principle of value for value? 